Once upon a time, in the magical kingdom of Rainbowland, there were two princesses named Lily and Rose. Lily had long, flowing hair as golden as the sun, while Rose had curly hair as dark as the midnight sky. They were not just princesses, they were the best of friends. One sunny morning, Lily and Rose decided to embark on a grand adventure in the enchanted forest. They skipped along the colorful path, giggling and holding hands. The birds in the trees chirped happily, and butterflies danced around them. As they entered the enchanted forest, the princesses discovered a mysterious gate covered in vines. Curiosity sparkled in their eyes as they pushed aside the vines and stepped through. To their surprise, they found themselves in a magical garden filled with talking animals. The wise old owl, Professor Hootsalot, greeted them. Welcome, Princess Lily and Princess Rose. We've been waiting for you, he hooted with a twinkle in his eyes. The princess's eyes widened with excitement as they met furry bunnies, chatty squirrels, and even a mischievous raccoon named Ricky. Together, they all played hide-and-seek and laughed until the sun began to set. As night fell, the magical fireflies lit up the garden like a sea of twinkling stars. Princess Lily and Princess Rose sat on a soft bed of moss, feeling grateful for the wonderful friends they had made. But then, the moon fairy appeared, casting a spell that turned the garden into a dazzling display of colors. Princesses, your kindness and friendship have brought magic to our home. As a reward, you may each make a wish, the moon fairy announced. Lily wished for a garden that would always be filled with laughter and joy, while Rose wished for endless love and friendship for everyone in Rainbow Land. In an instant, the garden transformed into a haven of everlasting happiness, and the moon fairy granted them a special gift, a pair of magical friendship bracelets that glowed with the colors of the rainbow. With their new bracelets, Lily and Rose returned to the castle, where they continued to spread love and joy throughout the kingdom. And so, the two princesses lived happily ever after, their friendship and kindness creating a magical world for all the children of Rainbow Land to enjoy. And that, my little friends, is the tale of Princess Lily and Princess Rose, a story of friendship, magic, and the power of kind hearts. One day, as Princess Lily and Princess Rose strolled through the royal gardens, they stumbled upon a mysterious door. It was a door unlike any other, adorned with sparkling gems and surrounded by swirling patterns of magic. Curiosity once again got the better of them, and the princesses decided to open the magical door. To their amazement, it led to the secret garden of whispers, a place filled with enchanted flowers that hummed tunes and whispered secrets. As they explored this magical garden, they discovered a charming fountain in the center. The fountain sparkled with liquid diamonds, and its waters had the power to reveal dreams. The princesses dipped their fingers into the magical pool, and images of fantastic adventures and delightful surprises danced before their eyes. The mischievous garden fairies, Sparkle and Twinkle, appeared, giggling and twirling around the princesses. Welcome, Princess Lily and Princess Rose. In this garden, dreams come alive, Sparkle said with a mischievous wink. Excitedly, the fairies led Lily and Rose to the wishing tree, a majestic tree with shimmering leaves that granted wishes. The princesses closed their eyes, made their wishes, and tied ribbons with their dreams to the tree. To their amazement, the wishing tree began to glow, and magical butterflies fluttered around them, carrying the fulfillment of their wishes. Lily's wish for a garden of everlasting laughter now spread beyond Rainbow Land, bringing joy to neighboring kingdoms. Rose's wish for endless love and friendship blossomed into a magical wave of warmth that touched the hearts of everyone in the realm. 
The princesses, now adorned with new, sparkling crowns from the wishing tree, returned to the castle, where they shared their magical journey with the kingdom. The people of Rainbowland celebrated the princess's generosity and kindness, creating a festival of laughter, love, and friendship that became an annual tradition. And so, Princess Lily and Princess Rose continued to rule over Rainbow Land, their friendship and compassion making the kingdom a beacon of happiness for all. The children of Rainbow Land grew up hearing tales of their beloved princesses and the magical adventures that awaited them in the secret garden of Whispers. And that, dear little ones, is the continued tale of Princess Lily and Princess Rose, a story of dreams, wishes, and the everlasting magic of friendship. One sunny afternoon, Princess Lily and Princess Rose decided to host a grand celebration in the heart of Rainbow Land. The entire kingdom was invited to join in the festivities, and the castle grounds were adorned with colorful banners and shimmering lights. The princesses, with their sparkling crowns and magical friendship bracelets, stood at the center of the festivities, welcoming everyone with open arms. There were games to play, delicious treats to enjoy, and music that made everyone want to dance. As the day unfolded, a group of friendly dragons from the neighboring Dragon Kingdom arrived. Lily and Rose had always heard stories about these dragons and how they were known for their love of laughter and games. The dragons, with their scales in every color imaginable, soared through the sky, performing dazzling aerial acrobatics that left everyone in awe. To everyone's delight, the dragons offered to join in the festivities. They organized a friendly dragon race, where children from Rainbow Land could ride on the dragons' backs as they soared through the clouds. Laughter echoed through the skies as the dragons performed loops and twirls, creating a spectacle that enchanted the entire kingdom. As the day came to a close, the princesses gathered everyone around a magical bonfire. They shared stories, sang songs, and toasted marshmallows, creating memories that would last a lifetime. The Moon Fairy, touched by the joy and unity of the celebration, sprinkled extra stardust over the kingdom, ensuring that the magic of that day would linger forever. The children of Rainbow Land, their hearts filled with happiness, went to bed that night with dreams of dragons, laughter, and the wonderful friendship of Princess Lily and Princess Rose. And so, Princess Lily and Princess Rose continued to bring joy and enchantment to Rainbow Land. Their adventures, filled with laughter, love, and friendship, became cherished tales that parents shared with their children, passing down the magic from generation to generation. And that, my little friends, is the ongoing tale of Princess Lily and Princess Rose, a story of celebrations, dragons, and the enduring magic of a kingdom where love and laughter reign supreme. One bright morning, as Princess Lily and Princess Rose were exploring the royal library, they stumbled upon a dusty, ancient book with a shimmering cover. The book was titled, The Map of Everlasting Wonders. Intrigued, they opened the pages to find a map that led to a hidden realm beyond Rainbow Land, an enchanted land known as the Land of Eternal Smiles. Excitement filled their hearts as Lily and Rose decided to embark on a journey to this mysterious land. Armed with the magical map and guided by the whispers of the wind, the princesses set off on a quest through meadows, over hills, and across babbling brooks. Their journey led them through a forest of giggles, where mischievous fairies tickled the trees, creating a symphony of laughter. The princesses joined in the laughter, feeling the joyous energy of the forest lift their spirits. Next, they crossed the Valley of Rainbows, where colorful butterflies painted the sky with vibrant hues. Each step they took left behind a trail of shimmering rainbows, creating a breathtaking display that mirrored the magic within their hearts. As they approached the land of eternal smiles, they encountered a kindly wizard named Whimsy Whistle. 
He greeted them with a twinkle in his eye and offered them a basket of enchanted sweets that made them burst into laughter with every bite. As a token of gratitude for bringing joy to the land of eternal smiles, Whimsy Wizzle gifted Princess Lily and Princess Rose with a pair of magical dancing shoes. When they wore the shoes, they couldn't help but dance with delight, and the entire land joined in the celebration. With their hearts full of joy, Lily and Rose bid farewell to the land of eternal smiles, knowing that the magic they discovered would stay with them forever. They returned to Rainbowland, where they shared the tales of their adventure, and the people of the kingdom celebrated by organizing the Grand Festival of Laughter. One day, Princess Lily and Princess Rose received a special invitation from the Starlight Sprites, tiny magical beings who lived in the far reaches of the night sky. The invitation was for a celestial ball, a dazzling event where the stars themselves danced and shimmered in joy. Excitement filled the air as the princesses prepared for the celestial ball. They adorned themselves in gowns woven with threads of stardust and wore crowns adorned with twinkling gems. As the night fell, they climbed aboard a magical cloud carriage pulled by flying unicorns, their silver manes sparkling with the light of the moon. Upon arriving at the Starlight Sprite's ethereal realm, the princesses were greeted by the moonbeam minstrels, enchanting creatures who played melodies on instruments made of moonbeams. The celestial ball was in full swing, with stars swirling and dancing in graceful patterns above. The Starlight Sprites, with their shimmering wings, invited Lily and Rose to join the cosmic dance. The princesses twirled and spun, their laughter echoing through the night sky. The stars above sparkled in delight, casting a radiant glow that illuminated the entire realm. In the midst of the celestial ball, the moonlight maven, a wise and gentle spirit, appeared. She bestowed upon Princess Lily and Princess Rose a pair of celestial amulets that held the power to capture moments of happiness and turn them into sparkling constellations. The princesses, eager to share the magic of the celestial ball with the people of Rainbow Land, returned to the kingdom. As they touched their amulets, beams of light shot into the sky, forming new constellations that told the story of their cosmic adventure. The children of Rainbowland, gazing up at the night sky, marveled at the new constellations that sparkled with the enchanting tale of Princess Lily and Princess Rose. Every night, they would make wishes upon the celestial stars, knowing that the magic of the princesses would watch over them. And so, Princess Lily and Princess Rose continued to create magical moments and weave tales that lit up the night sky. The Celestial Ball became an annual event, a time when the people of Rainbow Land and the Starlight Sprites joined together in a cosmic dance of joy and friendship. And that, my dear little ones, is yet another chapter in the ongoing tale of Princess Lily and Princess Rose, a story of celestial wonders, magical amulets, and the enduring magic that connects us all. One fine day in Rainbow Land, Princess Lily and Princess Rose received an invitation to the Whispering Woods, a mystical forest known for its talking trees and whimsical creatures. The invitation came from the wise old oak, the oldest and most revered tree in the entire kingdom. Intrigued, the princesses set out for the Whispering Woods, guided by the soft whispers of the wind. As they entered the forest, the trees greeted them with cheerful hellos, and colorful butterflies fluttered around, leading the way. Deep within the woods, they found the wise old oak standing tall and wise, its branches reaching toward the sky. The wise old oak spoke with a voice as gentle as the rustling leaves, Welcome, Princess Lily and Princess Rose. I have called upon you for a special quest that only the pure of heart can undertake. The wise old oak explained that the heartstone, a magical gem that held the essence of love and kindness, had been hidden deep within the whispering woods. It was said that finding the heartstone would bring everlasting harmony to Rainbow Land.
Eager to embark on this noble quest, Lily and Rose ventured into the heart of the forest. Along the way, they encountered mischievous fairies who guided them with playful tricks and wise owls that shared ancient tales of love and friendship. As they approached the mystical Clearwater Pond, the fairies gifted them enchanted lanterns that illuminated the path ahead. The princesses followed the soft glow of the lanterns and, to their amazement, discovered the heartstone shimmering at the bottom of the pond. With a magical incantation, the princesses lifted the heartstone from the water and a warm, radiant light enveloped the entire forest. The whispering woods erupted into a symphony of joy with the trees, animals, and fairies celebrating the restoration of harmony. The princesses returned to the wise old oak, presenting the heartstone. The wise old oak bestowed upon them a crown crafted from the branches of the oldest tree in the forest, symbolizing their unity with nature and the everlasting love that filled their hearts. From that day forward, the heartstone became a symbol of love and kindness in Rainbow Land. Princess Lily and Princess Rose, wearing their crowns with pride, continued to spread harmony and goodwill, ensuring that the magic of the Whispering Woods lived on in the hearts of the kingdom's inhabitants. And so, dear little ones, ends another chapter in the ongoing tale of Princess Lily and Princess Rose, a story of noble quests, magical gems, and the enduring power of love and kindness.